Grade 8 Math, number 9.2a, Properties of Reflections. We're going to explore reflections in this video. Orientation is a position or direction of something. Have you ever gone to print a piece of paper and it asks you if you want it printed in portrait or landscape? Portrait is when it's standing tall and landscape is when it's going side by side like this. It's laying down. Well, that's the orientation of the paper. The paper didn't change size. It didn't change shape. It just changed its orientation, the direction it was in, didn't it? Well, reflections maintain the size and shape of a figure, but not the orientation. And reflection is a type of transformation that flips a figure across a line. The line is called the line of reflection. And each point and its image are the same distance from that line of reflection. When we're thinking of reflection, think of a mirror image, okay? So, think of this line of reflection and it's identical on each side. See, he's reflecting. So here we've got a graph, and this is the pre-image, the original. And let's see if I can get this off. And this is a reflection. It's an image of this one. And this is a blue one is also an image of the pink one. So we've got the pink triangle, and the green triangle is the reflection of it. See that? We can just go like this and it'll flip and be the exact same shape. We can even do it with the blue one. We can take the pink triangle and we can flip it and it'll lay perfectly here. See? It's hard to do it with one hand and I have a bad arm, unfortunately. So this is the reflection, okay? So the pink triangle is the pre-image. The green triangle is the image. It's the reflection. And the blue triangle is also the image, the reflection of the pink one. See? And I've got them labeled. See that? This is A, B, C. And this is triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. And the way you would read this is A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. That's what those tick marks are. That's how we say it. That's a little tick mark. It's not a 1, and that's not an 11. It's a little tick mark, okay? It's like a teardrop. And the way you would say it is A prime. It's the image. It's also the first derivative. And we talked about derivative a couple videos ago. When you see two of these lines, that's referred to as A double prime. It's the second derivative, okay? And to derive means to get something, to obtain something, to extract it. So a derivative is something that's unoriginal. It's not original. It's imitative. It's an imitation. It's something that's based on another source, okay? So, the way we say this with the little tick marks is prime and double prime. And I, if you saw three, what do you think it would be called? So, this is a reflection, and the green one is a reflection. See that? Now, the line of reflection for the green triangle is the x-axis. Do you see this? Here's the x-axis, and if you look, A is at 17 up here on the y, and it's at negative 17. See that? So it's the same distance from the x-axis here as it is here. And look, C is two squares away from the x-axis, and C prime is two squares away from the C, from the x-axis. And B is two squares away, and B prime is two squares away. See that? It's exactly the same distance across this line of reflection for both of them. See that? And this is two squares away, and this is two squares away for this one. See that? So, the perpendicular distance from each point to the line of reflection is the same. They've got the same number of units. Now, when making a reflection, it can be any line, even a diagonal one, even one of these lighter colored lines in the, in the, on the grid. It doesn't have to be the x or y axis. It could be any line, okay? But we're just using the x and y axis now to make it easy for you. All right, so now let's look at this blue triangle. Look what I did here. I made some tracing paper and I put this pink triangle there. And when you lay the tracing paper down, you can see it perfectly. See that? And then I drew the triangle on the tracing paper. Now here's the blue triangle underneath it. And when I flipped the tracing paper over, folded right along the y-axis, 
it lines up perfectly with the blue one. See? Can you see the blue one underneath there? But when I fold it on the y-axis, which is the line of reflection, it lands on it perfectly. See that? If I were to get a piece of graph paper and I had triangles drawn in every quadrant, I would be able to take the graph paper, fold it in half, and line up the triangles on this quadrant, on these two quadrants, and on these two quadrants. And if I folded it again, I'd be able to hold it up to the light, and all four triangles would line up on the quadrants. If you've got some paper, you can try doing that. Those are reflections. That means you did it correctly. So, for this one, the line of reflection is the y-axis. It's right here. See? And folding the paper along the y-axis, both figures should line up perfectly with each other. See that? So, remember that a reflection is a flipped over a line of image of the original, okay? A reflection is like a mirror image. In our last video we, talk, video we talked about translating, that's like sliding, okay? So, that is how we're going to explore reflections. I hope this was helpful. I know this is a lot of information to take in, and I know they're expecting a lot more of kids now than they used to. Shoot, when I was in high school, we didn't do this until way later in high school, you know? Now they have kids doing this in middle school. So I did a uh, little bit of intro to algebra in eighth grade when I was in middle school. And they're, they've really stepped it up now, haven't they? But stick with me. We can do this, okay? We're just going to take it slow and add a little tiny piece in each video until you can all get all your knowledge that you need. All right? I'll see you next video. I'll see you in 9.2b. Bye.